Today we're going to share some information about how to access answers in your Jewelry De Designer Manager system. Inventory management is a complex thing. It's filled with moving parts, you know, parts to make jewelry from, finished jewelry pieces, customers to sell to, selling on invoices or memos, managing all your vendors. Inventory is complex. So no matter what software you acquire, there is going to be a learning curve associated with learning to manage your inventory in it. We have provided some really excellent tools for you to manage your inventory, and we're going to share some of those with you today. Support for your software starts right here on your main menu page where we provide an email address and a phone number for support. We do recommend that you use the email. That allows us to do a better job of tracking and following up on uh, information and service requests. We've also provided a tremendous amount of documentation. If you go up here to the Preferences menu and click on it, You'll see the sub-menu opens up below it, that blue bar. And if you go to the left, it says User Guide and Instructions. This is where you'll go to access your information. You can use the online user guide by clicking on this link. Or you can download and save on your computer or print a copy of the user guide by clicking on that link. So let's first go to the online user guide. So as you can see, this documentation opens up in one of your browser windows, and it's a series of chapters and subchapters that you can click on to get your information. So just click on any one of these. Let's go up here and click on keeping track of jewelry parts. So we'll click into this chapter. And now there are these subtopics within jewelry parts. So we'll just click on one of these. And now you'll see that the documentation opens up and all of the information you need for keeping track of jewelry parts is there. But you'll also notice that up here in the top right, once you get into the documentation and out of the chapters, there's a little search bar. And we could search for a term. So let's search for the term bead chart. Let me type that in here. Then we just hit enter or search, click on search, and now every place that the phrase bead chart appears in the documentation shows up on the screen. So when you're trying to figure out what a term means or how a field is used, you can go right to this documentation and search for that term or that field name and see what comes up. You can also do that right in the downloadable documentation. So we clicked on that, and now it's downloaded a PDF document. And yours may look different depending on um, what browser you're using. If you're using Chrome versus Apple's Safari versus Internet Explorer, it's all going to look different. But all of them will have something like this download um, icon so that you could actually load the documentation onto your own computer or your own smartphone and have it handy even if you didn't have an Internet connection. And then once you've downloaded it, it might launch automatically for you, or you may have to go to the folder where you saved it and open it from there. But now here you'll see we have a PDF opened. And your PDF reader may look a little different than this one, but there's something that I want to show you that will work in almost every PDF reader, and that's how to open up the search box and use it. So if you use Control F in a PC or Command F in a Mac, you'll open up a little search bar somewhere on your screen that will allow you to search for a word or a phrase. So let's just type bead chart in here again. And then we'll hit enter or the next button and we'll be able to see every place in this PDF that that phrase appears. So when you're looking for a term for JDM or if you're wondering what a field means or if you're trying to figure out how to do something, all you have to do is go to this documentation and search and you're very likely to find your answers. Whether you prefer to use your search documentation online or whether you prefer to download the search documentation and use it locally, both of them work very similarly 
and both of them were designed to help you dig in and learn your jewelry designer manager software specifically, but also better inventory management skills. And that's what we had to share for you today. Thanks so much.